So today I am doing a tutorial on this really easy kind of winged liner and bold red lip type of a makeup look. I was actually inspired by Desi Perkins who put up a video um, kind of on a look like this a couple days ago. It was just very simple and classic. So that's why I wanted to do this. And she actually said she was inspired by Omrizi from Instagram to do it. And I love both of them. So I was like, um, yes, gonna recreate it on my channel. They both like do kind of simple looks on the eyes with like really bold lips. Um, I've seen them both like in those makeup looks and they're just beautiful. So I wanted to recreate it on my channel today and I think this would be kind of a perfect makeup look going into fall with the bold lippy. And this is actually my favorite red lip. The first red lipstick that I ever bought and my favorite to this day. So, and it's only $1. Give this video a thumbs up if you like $1 lippies. You guys will see what it is if you watch to the end of the tutorial. But um, yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this makeup look, then please just keep right on watching. All right, you guys, so to start this look, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I have it in the shade Natural Beige, and I just put up a full review on this foundation, so I'll link it in the bottom bar if you want um, kind of my full thoughts on this foundation. But um, I'm just gonna go in with about two pumps of this foundation. And then I'm just going to blend it all out using the Beauty Blender. And for this look especially, you definitely want to be sure that you are going over your lids with the foundation, which I don't always do. But for this, since we're not going to be doing any shadow or anything on the eyelid, we want to make sure that they are like covered and match the rest of the skin because ain't nothing going on them besides some liner. This is just going to be like a really simple, um, classy look. Now to conceal the under eye area, I'm going to go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one is in shade NC20. I just like work it in between my fingers and then apply in a triangle form underneath my eyes. Now to really go in and set that concealer so that it's not going to be moving throughout the day, I'm going to go in with this NYX HD Finishing Powder, and this is the yellow shade one, so it's like a banana powder, um, so I'm just going to go in and apply that underneath my eyes to make sure that I set that, and I also am going to bring it on the lid as well just to set the concealer and foundation that is on the lid since we aren't going to be going in with shadow. Now to go ahead and add some more life back into this face, we are going to go in with the Betty Luminizer from The Bomb. I love this as my bronzer for like all over. It is so gorgeous. So I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush from Real Techniques and just bronze up the skin. Nothing like overpowering or anything. We really want the focus of this look to be on the eyes and the lips, um, but just add a little something. Then to contour, I'm going to go in with Hula's Benefit Bronzer. And then to highlight the skin, I'm going to go in with the Maryland Star Powder from Gerard. I'm just going to put it on the high planes of my face with my cheekbones. And then I'm just going to bring it down the bridge of my nose. Thank you so all right, so now we are going to go in and do the liner. All we're going to do is a simple wing. So I'm going to be using the Benefits Their Real Push-Up Liner. Um, I've been trying this out recently, and it takes a little while to get used to using this, but I actually really, really enjoy it once I got used to using it. So let's go ahead and do that wing.
Okay, now for lashes, I'm gonna go in with these. These are the 126 lashes from Ilor. You guys can find Ilor lashes at Ulta. That's where I got these ones. And I love them. They're like super spiky, dramatic lashes. If you don't want them to be as dramatic, you can just use um, you know, mascara on your regular lashes or a less dramatic lash. But I'm gonna go in with these. Now while we're letting the lash glue dry, I'm gonna go in and use this Glide Gel Liner from LA Girl. This is just their black one. And I'm just gonna line my waterline with this. I'm not gonna put anything on my lower lash line, just the waterline for this look. Um, but if you wanna put something on your lower lash line as well, you can be sure to do so. But I'm just gonna go and put this on my waterline. For mascara, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just pop this on my upper lash line and my lower lashes. Now for the lips, Desi did like a really bright red, like classic red lip, um, but I'm gonna do a little bit darker, more of like a cranberry-ish type red lip for this look, um, cause that's just what I like better on me personally. Um, but I don't have a, a lip liner that matches my favorite red lip, which I'm really upset about. So we're gonna be kinda being janky and using um, a couple of lip liners to make the lip color. Um, that I want. So first we're going to go in with Crown Brush. This is their lip liner pencil in Fuego. This looks like the color of the lipstick, but when I put it on my lips, it's way too bright. Um, so I'm going to first start with this, and then we're going to be a little darker with another lip liner. Okay, so now that I have this kind of like bright, bold, red lip line going on, I'm gonna go in with the Clean Colors Lip Liner. This one is in the color, I don't even think it says, oh, natural. So this is like a brown type color, like a medium brown, and I'm gonna go over the bright red with this, and it's gonna make a really pretty kind of cranberry type-ish color. Now finishing off with my favorite red lipstick, which is only one dollar, you guys. It is from Wet n Wild, and it is the Wet n Wild color in F22A. I don't know if it has a color. That's all it says down here. This is like the first red lipstick I ever got, and it's still my favorite to this day. And literally one dollar. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. This is the uh, completed kind of simple classic fall Desi Perkins Almarizzi inspired makeup look. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below if you have not already. And let me know down below in the comments any type of tutorials or video ideas of any sort that you guys would like to see. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.